no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. Now, okay. without further ado, we may proceed to the trial this. of our god. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> No, I will say this, Liddy, I appreciate your technique, but I think we should have just waited just a little more. Oh, Serena's probably having an anxiety attack as we speak. Ah, so, this is what it is. Yes, Shit. you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. We were just getting somewhere. <laughs> no. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the I agree. god of justice, the embodiment of justice itself. Does it I not might strike with you, you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words oh. as your refusal to stand trial? In that uh. case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a duel. Are you? Uh, are we about to make a fight, Clarent? <laughs> uh, Clarent might kick her. I don't know. You, you would draw your blade against a god? I think she would. She don't, oh god! <clears throat> I see. It seems like you have made up your mind. Are you gonna fight Clarent, Trina? I can't believe it! She... She just surrendered! Uh... What the heck is going on? Did I just see an Archon surrender to a... A human? Oh... Well, oh no. How utterly humiliating. Damn. Lady Farina, what is the meaning of this? Uh, it would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the raising of both hands is not always an indication of surrender. You truly have a way of words. Huh? I truly, raised it's my a hands gift. just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. No duel shall be necessary. Well, to be fair, I'd rather I just admit do the trial than I've try and fight Clarine. For a long time. Oh. I'm sorry, everyone. I was unable to protect the people of Poisson. I it is I'm my confused duty to stand trial just for my as crimes. much. I'm very confused. You are not the only ones to be disappointed in me. I too am exceedingly disappointed in myself. <sighs> but now it is time for the Hydro Archon to show you her courage and resolve. She actually gonna Farina will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice. Okay. This time, I will protect you. Applaud you. and rejoice. One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera epicles is now unfolding yeah, her before cook. your her eyes. Cook. She's cooking right now. Mark She's cooking. my words. This shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. The trial of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin! Woohoo! Oh, now we're making history! <sighs> you better, Farina, you better I also. Like I don't have words this. Like, come on! Didn't your actions get better to be the same as your words. Now, that is the way I can best also, explain it. I am so. I'm so dramatic. processing. She is Taking this seriously this time, right? If she knows what's good, right, she better be then. taking this serious. Who will be don't my burn, don't burn the in this Come trial? On. The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Is that so? Very Wait. Well, then please speak, witness of Tivat, my Where's accuser the and fated opponent. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not ready for this. Oh my god. I need, I need to breathe, have, you know, like a sip of water. All 
so please allow me to ask as a final question before the trial begins. Just how much work did you do to force me onto this stage? Well, yes. we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. Navia, the okay. president of the Spina di Rosula. Most of the people who participated yeah. in the disturbance this morning were my subordinates. They changed into plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members, waiting for the I mean, perfect opportunity to be fair, to this is probably the best way you. to get her to talk, turn it into a case, because I feel like building trapping her might just traumatize her instead. A spark was all we needed to turn smoldering anger into a flame. Moreover, according to our understanding and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, you would likely flee the scene and head to Poisson by yourself. So, we arranged for a second group to lie in I'm wait still wondering there. where Tartaglia so is, because we haven't figured that out either. I, have, I don't know where he is. The settlement for but me as far as I saw last time I streamed, he was in a bunch of water, and, goal and there was, was a giant wheel. to force you to step into the giant magic box, so you may personally participate in the greatest magic performance in all of Fontanian history. And that's right. The uh, house was a yes. magic box, rather fact, than someone's uh, residence. We even, I have this vision, you let us hold on to it for now. ultimate the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epiclès. The volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude. I kid you not, and this Fontaine Archon was quest, the entire this whole gap story between Poisson and is Arrhenius. even crazier than the it's Sumerian cargo, one, like course, this is good. Was an Archon instead of a human. My thanks, Farina. Without your help, we could never have pulled off such an not. extraordinary er, uh, performance. The Knave, aka Erlachino, uh, we had a tea party with Purita, and it got heated. Of I have course, the footage, I'm planning to put it on YouTube. Possible with father's support. Erlachino was giving the out House the business. The House of the Hearth spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to pull this off. We had to select a location, construct the giant magic I box, think so. dig a tunnel, and I open up a path through the water. I have been doing this story for it quite a, a while. Of it is all of us. quite long. So, in other but words, this is good. the earthquake that we felt within the giant magic box I think I'm, was I think just I'm only a halfway done with the story. I have no idea how much longer. Of the whole house? That's right. It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. This is a very long, but it's still good, I'd say. Like, it doesn't feel boring, like you're just sitting there, just kind of like listening. And you're, I, I, you actually feel like you want to know more, you know, get invested. Then, I can guess Nervilette and Cloran's parts. Yes, I agree. You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the champion duelist would be immediately ready for a fight. Also that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may commence without a hitch. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. Well, Cloran, I must Looks commend like you intense. for your courage. Only the most outstanding champion duelist in all of Fontaine would accept a duel with an Archon without flinching. Cloran is just you. built different. As That's all I have to say. you, traveler, I suppose your role was to keep me distracted with conversation once you found me in Poisson. You'd make sure that I didn't know this at first. first before uh, my revealing yourself Karina has as my definitely prosecutor once we arrived onto the stage. I do like how do I put it? So far, at first I just thought like Purina was just, you know, like a uppy like kinda like arrogant, like almost childlike and naivety type thing. Oh? Now I do feel bad for her because she's like she has a lack of information. She doesn't know what to do with this crisis. <laughs> and we just saw her cry earlier. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> and I will say the actual Hydro Archon, so, right? It's still... Then I suppose I must have missed my final chance. We don't know where she is. It's fine. It matters I'm sure not. once you go through the What's story, done done. you'll also get this idea that okay, Serena might not be so the actual no archon for to this place. The audience. Let's see this trial through to the very end. She's almost like just a like a stand-in. I 
And I could learn is a bit of the same trying to Madam fight a god. Madam Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission <sighs> to share with you during the trial. According to her, it should speed up the proceedings. Huh? Charlotte wanted to give us something? Oh, so she's here too! Hey, Charlotte! Oh, God. Not in a bad oh god, oh, but this, uh, she's here too. This is big if she, uh, even she's here. Isn't this the exclusive inner oh, wait? Then that means this Let's document skip that over. is a perfect timeline of everything that's happened ever since we stepped foot in Fontaine! So in other words, we can refer to this anthology of evidence every time we want to use something from our journey as evidence for an argument! Well, practical. Let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, alright? You defeated the hype. I didn't think that. Hold on. What? Oh, I didn't even know she could talk. You defeated the Hydro Archon in the very first duels you took part in at the Opera House. That's one for the history books, all right. Oh, you like photography? Ooh. And I also like Charlotte. She's very cute. I like the idea that she her camera's a weapon. <laughs> Uh... I didn't think that you'd wind up getting to the bottom of the case I'd been following all this time. This yeah, here is the we first go. time Monsieur Nervillette had a difference of opinion with the Oratrice. Even the Hydro Archon oh, wow. can't figure it out. That's actually super impressive. A Fatui Harbinger. She's an extraordinary I person. I give you my Her congrats. must mean something. I bet it must be pretty fun and, you know, worthwhile. Ooh, I'm glad to hear that. The fortress of Meripede was almost destroyed in a single day. That I didn't witness that scene personally will always be a source of professional regret, I think. According to Monsieur Nouvellet, both child and that whale should have been in the primordial sea at that time. Oh, here we go. Ooh. I nearly lost my awesome friend Navia. To be honest, that still gives me shivers. The words of someone as extraordinary as a witch can probably only be truly understood when something surreal happens to you. Ooh. I can't get over meeting with the name. That was so... I, you could cut the tension with a knife. Like a butter knife. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall now begin. Oh... <laughs> Oh, come on, Nervilet. There's no need to repeat all the unimportant legal leaves. Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, I still haven't even been informed of my supposed guilt in all of this. I'm, I'm a of course, Let it is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. However, oh. you will need more than that to convict me of a crime. That's true, but my charge here is unrelated to your conduct. She's talking? Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud who has never been the Archon in the first place. Oh my god! Not only is she is our traveler talking. <laughs> We're oh my god. I, I I think I'm too smart for my own good. Because she's not the we charging her and she's not the real archon. Oh my god! Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Oh hey. I came here thinking that we were going to try the Hydro Archon for forsaking her duty, but Oh my god did I hear that right? She's oh! Not at Charge accepted. Nah, 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 nah. My brain's too good. Lady Farina, do you I plead called guilty it. to the charge? I called it. I called it that she's not the real Archon. I freaking called it. Lady Farina. Reunion quest. I plead not guilty. Yeah, it's How been a long time be since we heard. Uh, there is not, no oh, way that right, 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 right. I, I might be a bit tired. Farina the traveler Fontaine, talk. A My brain just like a foot for a second. And the retina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine could be anything other than your true archon. Yeah. Oh, is that the even though Lady Farina can be rather new eccentric, that came out? isn't it going too far to doubt her very identity? Well, yeah, I've oh, okay. never questioned her identity either. 
Sure, Lady Farina can be super irresponsible, but but what grounds does that prosecutor have to make such a huge claim? Oh, okay. I think I remember I which one of them. It's been a minute. I have cause to believe common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever since they were born. There would be no fooling their memory. Well, Farina, you also don't have the power to change that either. That's uh, Nahida's uh, thing in Ermansol. She could do that, probably. See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor. Are you sure you want to commit to a charge that will never be upheld? I'm sorry, Farina, but we might have all the evidence to back up that you literally are not the real Archon. If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you as the God of Justice that you will not have to face trial for making a false accusation. We will treat everything that's happened as a dramatic spectacle and move on with our lives. Um... What do you say to that? Huh. <laughs> An argument with near impossible odds, huh? We have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also overturn the long-held beliefs of the people. This is about to cause an uproar. Well, I tried to give you the chance to surrender. If you must persist, then let me ask. If you believe I'm not the Archon, then <coughs> what manner oh of being do you think I am? A human who has lived far too long. And if I was not the Archon, then how did I manage to live for over 500 years? Because the actual god wanted you to live that long, perhaps. I'm pretty sure you were made by her, in fact. Just as a stand-in. It's over. Like, oof. Yeah, like, holy yappington. Okay, so pick something that can refute her claim. Why can Farina live for a long despite she's human? Okay. Believe it's possible that not only is Farina not really the Archon, but that she actually afflicted. Uh, the name. Yeah, because even our Lachino was like, be a member of another long was like, we know damn well that you're probably you not. To naturally possess an extended lifespan. And second of all, even if that wasn't the case, there could be other ways to extend your life. That's true. <laughs> Who gave you that idea? Was it the knave? You'd sink so low as to use a harbinger's words against me. This is not just any harbinger. She is got information. Doesn't matter who gave the information, though. A curse. I once thought it possible that the aura of an archon might naturally resemble a type of curse. She could just have this plan. Perhaps what I sensed I, was not your yeah, divinity. Yeah, she's got that really a special healthcare lace, no, that extra luxurious too, stuff. Huh? Clearly. Oh, maybe she got some of Ijie's medicine. Lady Farina is actually a human? Well, I mean, it is true that it's extremely difficult to tell humans and gods apart just by looking at them. It's not impossible. And besides, most gods don't go prancing around their nation willy-nilly. There's exceptions. Though, it's more that they're trying to blend in. They don't prance around saying, Oh, I'm the god of this nation. You know, they don't do that. Well, don't start celebrating too early now. Even if I have been carrying a curse like you said, how does that prove that I am merely a human being? Yes, yeah, Sally does Besides, like to wander around, everyone but knows he that the fits, main difference between just, a human and a god is the, the possession of authority. Parlor. Right. Gods can do and he also cannot. doesn't, you know, go out of his way gods. to proclaim like, Oh, I'm the Archon of your nation, and I'm not actually dead, you know? Have the nation of Fontaine. He just wants to fit the human society, so he doesn't really towards the oratrice, mechanique, the analyse, go around in this very saying he's the Archon. House, or consider the endonidium that is used in every aspect of life. Shireen, on the other hand, does. She goes all over her, her you know, fan, like, nation. <laughs> 
saying, oh, I am the Hydro Archon, I am this, that, holier than thou type of speech, per se. Yeah, she likes to prance around and do stuff like that. Okay, wait, what am I reading? What evidence proves that Faruna is not the master of the Oratrice? A uh, child's conviction. <laughs> For some reason, the freaking machine made child guilty despite he didn't cause any problem. I was a child's thing. Right here, here we go. You tried to reference the Oratrice. Plus, but I think Xiaomi also likes to go shopping. He's definitely a material girl. The declared child to be guilty <laughs> without any proof? Otherwise, the one who made Mara really love to spend Mara. <laughs> Didn't I make myself clear at the time? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for humans to comprehend. There is no need to provide an explanation. Lady Farina, I believe a reminder of your current circumstances is in order. While the court is in session, the principles of justice and the law must come before all else. While you are an Archon, you are also first and foremost the defendant in this trial. Yeah, you will the, prove your, yourself uh, unable to defend against here. the prosecution's charges if you continue to withhold vital information against the rules of the court. I never thought you'd use that kind of rhetoric against me. Well, that was you gotta no trick the of beans, rhetoric, girl. Lady Farina. I've merely reiterated the rules of the court. Rules that all should respect and follow. <laughs> so, you neither knew why Child was declared guilty, nor did you understand the structure and operations of the Oratrice. Which is a machine the Archon made, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'm correct in that. Instead of having been created by you, the manifestations of authority you mentioned have been made by the real Hydro Archon, Boom. haven't they? The real Hydro Archon? Well, now you're really losing me. It is true that I did not know why the Oratrice gave out a guilty verdict that day. But the Oratrice handed out that verdict unilaterally, and it has been operating independently ever since it was first created. <sighs> You can't, this is... you can't argue that just because a divine creation is flawed, this. that the god behind What did she just say? I didn't get dissolved! Shouldn't that be enough Neither to did prove Fremine, my though. innocence? Neither did Fremine, though. He just got really sick. Well, considering your tendency to you run didn't from fully, your problems, really, didn't really dissolve. He we got did super originally sick because he got pulled up before he could. Water around Poisson. However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an actual human. Oh, okay. After all, on the off chance that something entirely unexpected might occur, we okay, don't so want it's anyone diluted else a bit. to lose their life to the sea. Yeah, so out of regard for oh Farina's life, you secured a low concentration sample and asked the head nurse to serve as an expert witness. Well, we got it's a her. Great we got her, thing boys. That the direct sample wasn't actually used. Farina could have actually dissolved. I, I can't believe you. You just got fucked. It's so important for her to keep her persona to save her own life. Listen to me. Listen to me, everyone. Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks. What happened just now didn't prove a single thing. But a guy shouldn't be getting sick from primordial seawater. And technically, by that standpoint, right? Uh, you get chosen to become a god regardless of where your origin is. So let's say if you were not even from fucking Fontaine, right? Think about it. It How wouldn't have caused any problems for you. Archon can't also be affected by the primordial sea You're water. You're a god. You shouldn't be getting affected by that also, at all. Also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? <laughs> hey, I don't believe you. You're full of shit. <laughs> You're full of Please, shit. everyone. Oh no, she's crying. Just listen to me. I swear, I really am your archon. Nope. I'm sorry, Fiorina, but you're cooked. Ah. <sighs> 
I don't think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. The odds are just too stacked against her now. With all the things that have been said, Paimon doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. It's over. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final outside, judgment. Because Mavilek just makes it rain. Because he's sad. Farina, I'm sorry, but it just has to be done. I don't think anything she says at this point will sway Oh, God. That's not good. She's starting to lose it. Yes, finish her. In my Thanks. capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human <laughs> who knowingly <laughs> deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... of it wrong. Guilty. Oh! Oh yeah, we just shattered her whole reality. Oh, she even needed to sit up. Oh, she's crying. Oh god. Guilty is We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Here we go. This... I almost thought the Oratrice was gonna According explode. to the judgment <laughs> of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal... Sure is. is... Guilty? <laughs> what? Hmm? What's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? Did, did the Oratrice make her innocent? No. The Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. Okay. Isn't that correct then? So what's the problem, movie? However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon. Guilty. To be punished via the death sentence. Death? Oh my... Oh. We're gonna the, kill her? The death sentence? That's actually one of the available sentences? I've always thought that it was just a oh, myth. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think we need to... I don't think court. we need to kill her now. Hold on. She's just, given to the very she's person just, a, we've just a little baby. No, don't do it. What an unexpected twist. Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? We just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things, so she'd tell us the truth. How did things escalate this quickly? This outcome is indeed quite strange. According I mean, to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, be. as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences. I mean, if, in a logic standpoint, is it is pretty bad to really pose the God. for the crimes that have been committed? Yeah, <laughs> even if she wasn't sentenced to death by the Oratrice. You know, the real evil mastermind behind the serial disappearances case. Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. But Here she's now, a stand -in. the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What does this mean? Does this mean we're about to kill the actual Hydro God? This is insane. Um, excuse me. Oh, if perfect. I may interrupt. Okay, I don't think he needs to die. And it says specifically Hydro Archon, so I'm the guessing trial still going? Solaris herself. Fremine, oh, you finally made it. Is being I assume this means death. you've completed your mission? Mm hmm. Any mission Father assigns to me will always be top priority. What did our Latino send you to do? So, if you just don't. Oh! Is. That the first prophecy slate? Oh, I didn't see this coming. Huh? So the knave privately arranged for Fremenade to try and find the missing slate. I looked everywhere and finally found it at the bottom of the sea. It took me a long time to get around some dangerous stretches of water. Do you see a whale? But has the trial already concluded? Then. Doesn't that mean I've come too late? No, it's okay. Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremenet. Please allow me to review the record left on the slate. Hmm. Traveler, I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. 
would like you to come here and confirm their contents. Chefed up. Uh, I'm not sure huh? what they're gonna do so here, but from what I get so far is that the actual god has Serena as a stand-in, so she composes the title of Hydra Archon, but they're technically one and the same. So. Only way for Furina to not, well, die in this case is if the actual god, you know, chooses to take the sentence, I guess. But we don't know where the actual god is. Perhaps she's still here? Or she could be for all you know in Shnaznai, I don't know. <laughs> and... Hold on, a previous record of the I believe I've now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. This is it has to I'm do with Fontaine's lot of lost history. For this. Huh? Isn't the Hydro Archon just guilty of deceiving her also, people? Also, I just saw Guys, Oceana there. Hydro but, uh, do you mean the on, real Hydro Archon first. we've been kind of talking about? In truth, everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this point can be traced back to the contents of these stone slates. However, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently make to you. I agree. We need a Genshin anime. Toot sleep. This would be awesome. Okay, let's try to recall the contents of the other three stone slates. Paimon will do her best to help you remember. But if I think about it, I don't think Full Swords would leave her own nation, so she's probably in the nation somewhere. Uh, but this is... Okay, here we go. Find scenarios related to the Stone Slate's content in the instance recorded on the interview notebook. There you can verify said content. Holy! As verification for us, you the font and water level, and the menu will rise. When you finish verifying all the Stone Slates, the truth behind the prophecy shall be revealed. So, these stone slab was were left, I think, I'm pretty sure, by the first stone either, I'm thinking it's Echiria. It seems to show the previous Hydra Archon using her divine or, power. Or, because I don't think it makes sense for Fosalors to make this. I think she's aware of it. Let's see, using her divine power. Okay. Does that mean that Fontanians are transformed to Oceanids? Oh, Paimo wasn't expecting that. But if Oceanids can turn into humans, then perhaps this process Wait. can be reversed as well. Wait, but this is also a previous event that makes sense now because what the previous Archon, like what? I think pushed away a lot of Oceanids because I guess they didn't want the truth to be that, oh, the actual human Fontanians, they're actually just Oceanids. They've just been changed to be looking like humans. The second stone slate shows Celestia floating in the sky, and the Hydra Guess Archon what? and there her people worshipping it together. Uh, from but the heaven still brought the one that came to uh, Mondstadt. Also, now is known as what some fairy thing. That's the thing, and then the one the Oceana back in a uh, what was it the summer event for Klee and everything when she first got her new outfit. That this also must makes be the sense. Point when the Hydro Archon and the Fontanians Dude, were branded with their original I sin. think my mind's gonna explode. Does this mean that the original sin and the Hydro Archon sin are the same thing? I do want to know what's this big sin. Yeah, Masa had what she had is. And they're not actually- yeah, and they're- It's confirmed that they're actually from Fontaine. Oh, okay. Alright, I just want to know what big sin this is to cause, many you know, primordial sea water. I need to know this. And I'm actually true. I was actually going to probably stop streaming soon, but I, I want to finish this first. <laughs> Paimon, didn't we also watch that happen to someone else? Yeah, they went really far out. Well, the first slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been talking about. People dissolving into the sea, the Hydra Archon crying on her throne, and so on. I think the last part is if it's 4:20 a.m. We didn't damn. believe that such a crazy disaster could happen at first, did we? But after that incident, it is currently 11:20 p.m. If. over here for me. EST. 
Maybe it's the most related to the front position of the It seems to show the former hijacker using divine power to turn our shame as it to people, alright. Is this? We know from the case of the serial disappearances of young women that Fontanians can be dissolved in primordial seawater. And the first stone slate tells us that long ago, the Hydro Archon used her power to turn Oceanids into humans. This might be the reason that Fontanians can dissolve. Also, that also just reminded me that when they dissolve, right? I think they either have a separate consciousness, but in this case specifically, they all became a collective consciousness into one Oceanid. <laughs> oh, crap. It shows Celestia floating in the sky and the Hydro Archon and their people worshipping it together, but the heavens still brought judgment down. What's the sin here? Uh... This? Perhaps what is about to take place has all happened before. The true sin of the Hydro Archon that Nervilet mentioned, and the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia, as recorded on the stone slates. The previous Archon must have did something nuts to have Celestia be like, oh yeah, your, your ass is cooked. It shows the Hydro sinking into the sea surrounded by many people. I think that's the collective consciousness. Or separate, however you want to put it. Uh, hold on, let me go back. Let me read this. Thinking, surrounded by people. So, is it this? It's not as simple as falling into the sea when Navi. I fell know into this the is sea, her consciousness. My brain was can't process this. The stone slates show the people gathered around the Hydro Archon in the sea. I might be able to process this later, but this is a lot to take in. I made it awful. <laughs> it's okay. I'd probably be a bad lawyer too. Shows a scene that is basically a to the scribe in the prophecy. I'm pretty sure this last part is that if you don't fix the problem, then you're just gonna be left there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not that one. I think it's one of these two. I think it's Nivilla. The yeah. prophecy from the stone slates found its way into society, but not many people believed it at first. But if we hadn't dealt with it in time, things oh, could I have think gone I very by badly. Oops. Oh, well. They'll dissolve into the primordial sea, but won't cease to exist. Yeah, they still exist. Their essence will flow in the seawater, converge. And take the form of an Oceanid! Okay, so I'm right. So, so you don't necessarily die. You just cease to exist in physical form. The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin. I need. Mean, I, I might be somewhat so but what is the actual sin is it because the previous archon decided to turn oceans to people that photo with the ocean looks like something from avatar the last airbender um oh yeah i could see that oh uh, but that case was not those ruins, and she knew if you get to go through the story like that part the of the story was crazy and a court within her consciousness. because this dude went and cuckoo right because his, I think, his significant stay. other, uh, dissolved in the water, and so he was trying everything to bring her back. And so he went after multiple women and made them disappear, per se. Dude, and then, I think he drank some of the primordial seawater because we finished making him guilty. And he was able to connect with the consciousness of all those women, and he, and they said, Oh yeah, we're pissed at you, not even your the significant other wants to talk to you. At the fortress of like, it, I'm it's like, yo, that was, the it was, was they really incurred wrath no on him. I think, I don't know if he died, but I think he definitely went crazy after that. The stone slate's content can all be verified by recent events. 
If we combine what we know together, loads of truths should come to light. Verification complete. Alright. This has oh, been now. such Thanks a crazy you case. Can make sense of it. Absolutely nuts. Oh, but put this on auto. Here we go. Then it feels like we're going to have to share some truly shocking revelations. I need water. Let's hear them. Yep, Fontanians are not real humans. They're Oceanids. Incredible. Linny, did you hear that? We're... Not real humans. All Fontanians were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon, with Oceanids as their basis. Welcome back. The I love your internet uh, is back in up and running. I'm sorry, it's suddenly Fontanians disconnected. How Fontanians could dissolve in primordial seawater. And how all the girls Vashay dissolved were also turned oh, into Oceanids. Oh, they're explaining Oceanids. this to you. Okay, good. Oh, and according to Navia, when she was about to get dissolved, she also saw everyone gathered around for a trial. All of them in the shape of Oceanids. Indeed. The crime of the Argo Archon was her... Oh, I'm right? It's because she turned the young guy... Pff, English. Okay. English, please. All right. Ooh, yeah. I know my brain is scrambled after this. I can't even English properly. Yeah! And it follows from the content of the first slate that she probably angered Celestia by creating humans without prior permission. Oh, yep, English. <laughs> so that is the actual scent. Okay, my brain's not fully melted yet. I'm still managing the process. So Celestia got pissed at, I believe, at, if it, Ageria. Or, it might be full source herself, but either way, at the Hydra Archive for turning them into humans instead of saying it's Oceanus about letting them go first. That could the judged the Hydra Archon to be guilty. It's to account for that ancient sin. The Hydra Archon's true sin was creating us? I think and she yes, wanted you guys to be able to live years, like normal people. The Hydro I mean, it'd be kind of weird if you went to the to Nation of Fontaine and you just see a bunch of Epicles. Oceanus everywhere. It's kind of weird. The twists of history are often the most unexpected of all. I think she wanted to have a proper society, but Celestia said, "Oh no, we don't want, we don't like that." That's for the first place. Yeah, isn't the image here just like when Navia fell into the sea? So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea once the prophecy has been fulfilled in the fourth slate? This is fulfillment of the prophecy that's well in In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Did Paimon get all that right? Oh. You've made some keen deductions. I'm glad you're I feeling inspired. I must say, inspired. given how much you still don't know, it is impressive that you've already managed to connect so many pieces of the truth. This is However, probably the best story While you were able to decode all so the far. information on the it's slates, like, it, they've also this is, been this etched is, with an additional layer I can't of wait for that information one. using a that different about power to be source. Super when we were at the ruins, do something I like tried this, to like, decipher the hidden in information terms of how recorded this is, in the slates. Like that. But since we only oh, had three slates good. at the time, I was unable to come to a full conclusion. Now that the slate collection is complete, I shall make another attempt to decipher the narrative recorded within. I am if wondering though, how well, old is we should finally be informed of the unadulterated he truth. He said he's never met Ageria. And mm. only really knew Furina as a supposed archon, so what? that means she hasn't actually well, met the real Fosalors either. Did you get it? I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. I will try to briefly summarize okay, it Okay, what you. did you get? What, what did you get, Nuvi? Your hypotheses regarding the origin of Fontanians and the sin of the Hydro Archon were both correct. Oh. In the Fontaine of old, 
The previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. Ah, so it is that. They wanted to be able to be a part of society. I get it. The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings. And wishing to have those experiences for themselves, That's expressed true. to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life, the Hydro Archon, as one of the seven, did not possess the authority to create a new form of human life. Mm. Not one to give in, she eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by appropriating the power of this planet's primordial sea. Wait, what? She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels, creating humanoid mimics in the process. What? But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the Primordial Sea, the power within their bodies would escape these artificial restraints and return to the sea. As a result, their forms would collapse, and that they would be reverted weird. to their original so forms So the thing as that's also a hazard to them is also the reason why they have a physical human form. Uh... Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission from the Heavenly Principles to create yeah, a new human Yeah, she didn't ask. Race. Yeah, she didn't ask. Ooh. I can't wait to meet Celestia up in the sky when it, whenever and that thus, happens. I'd the love Hydro to Archon know what the heck- all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the Primordial Sea. That is the true history of how the people of Fontaine first came into being. <sighs> So you... Uh, I... We were all Oceanids before we turned into human beings? Isn't that hardly me even beating up Oceanids? That's Oceanid way too much information for me. I think I'm just going to pretend that I never heard a single thing. Okay, be in denial then. <laughs> Random NPC. Wait, but if that's the truth, we can't let the Hydro Archon be sentenced to death. After all, her only sin was creating us. But are you really going to try and defy Celestia? This really might be too much information for your regular Fontanian. But it I mean, does answer a lot of our questions. Alas, Thanks, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. It. The slates' respective positions are, in fact, correct. So what's the third one supposed to mean? A key point of the visual on the third slate is how all the individuals depicted in the water are humans rather than oceanids. They have not been dissolved, which implies that the water depicted in this slate is not water from the primordial sea. So what the nation of Fontaine is the water? nation of Hydro, as well as the nation of Trials and Justice. Instead of being the literal element, the water in the Ooh. scene symbolizes judgment and justice. You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, her consciousness was surrounded yeah, by that of many others it. Yeah, who Fontaine intended is... to hold a trial to they determine might be her just fate. Water. <laughs> Therefore, the meaning of the third slate is... So that the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court of Justice. Oh! Oh. <laughs> so we technically just did the prophecy without actually, like, realizing it ourselves. And we just, oh, God. Yes. Uh -oh. It refers to our present situation. Well, that explains a lot. Now. So... What you're saying is, even though we decided to put on this trial to avoid fulfilling the we prophecy, did it, it, in it, truth, it, we did the everything opposite. Everything we've done has happened exactly as the prophecy foretold. So now it seems we're the ones making sure it comes true. <sighs> what should we do? Uh, it feels like we can't really fix anything now. Hey, Fossilors, you hear the actual Hydra? If you hear, you might want to step in. Huh. No matter what, the prophecy will be fulfilled. <sighs> Is this what it feels like to be a prisoner of fate? If that's the case, Damn. does that mean the scene in the fourth slate will also be fulfilled soon? I don't Traveler, think you should jinx that. I would like to point out another small fallacy in your deductions. About the fourth slate, you probably thought that the eruption of primordial seawater beneath the fortress of Meripede served as the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass, yes? However, I believe that rather than being a sure sign, that eruption could in fact only be a small warning of something far That's worse That's a warning? To come. 
As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. Uh-oh. Ultimate proof. Just what is the true source of the this eruption? Is just a small warning of the things to come. We must find the root cause of the disaster. Hmm. Huh. Okay, we gotta figure this out. Just what is the true source of the catastrophe? I have to pick. I think it's the whale, isn't it? It was both dream and reality. It can't be anything else. It's the whale. If we're oh, talking about a true wait. culprit, that could only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? Wait. So if this is causing quakes and stuff, and this thing is ginormous, couldn't it just force its way into the city? The truth, the original sin, the trial. And the root cause of the disaster. Root causes. Don't tell me this whale will suddenly pull up in here. Oh, uh, never mind. I shouldn't have said shit. Okay. I should have shut my mouth. Oh. What's the whale? That thing is huge. Okay, never mind. What does that do? Oh, nice shield. Oh wait. Oh, never mind. Um. So we found the true source of the sin. It's this thing. Oh my God! It's about to eat people. Oh shit! Wait, child. What the fuck is happening? Child, where the hell have you been? I might need to clip this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clip this. I have so much footage, this is crazy. Okay, so we were trying to figure out the, re the actual, I think, resource of why this water and shit, I think, and we've concluded it's the freaking whale. Child, are you okay? Oh, never mind, he fell in. He's not okay. And yeah, that is a really weird, weird whale. English, help me. Oh, Lord. That was way too close! How did that thing just burst into the opera house? <gasps> Wait, was that the huge whale you saw in your dream? I wish you saw so so we've met it at last. I understand very well why it is chosen to make an appearance It just here. broke reality. There's a giant hole of, like, dimensional-looking rift. That what whale the heck? does not belong to Tevat. Oh. It is a monster that has traversed the stars, weeping all the while. Are you telling me it's technically a descender? This thing's not from here? It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. A whale in the stars. Also, I don't want to be that person, but that whale looked a lot like Child's Constellation. Uh, you know, the narwhal whale thing he has? It looked like that. Uh, and once it has finished consuming all of the energy contained within the sea, its next step will be... You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Oceanids, she filled their blood vessels with primordial seawater. Precisely. That whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh impossible to resist. Oh, so it wants to eat us. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full of food. Food in the form of Fontanians. We just so how the heck are we gonna close that hole right? 
In that case, won't it come back to target the people again once it's managed to recover its strength? Oh, so for Cragley, it didn't look good. Indeed, it but is more accurate to say that we should thank that delusion? harbinger for buying us some time. Correct. Without him, he doesn't the whale would have likely come onto land far sooner. From the way he looked, he must have been fighting the creature for quite a long time. Oh. Child, please be yuck, okay. Yuck, maniac. We've always known that he had a special connection with that whale, but we definitely yeah. didn't expect it to help us out like this. I don't think anyway, all the more in the world is going to be able to that. Now that we know that this whale is the actual cause of the disaster recorded in the prophecy, all we need to do to stop the prophecy would be to find a way to beat it up, right? It is too We're gonna late. We're going to fight a whale? What do you mean it's too late? Wait a minute. It had already absorbed too much of the primordial sea's energy before we could notice it. At this point, it has become practically integrated with the sea itself. Even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim off towards some other world. That... that's not something I will accept. We've already done everything we can, and we even found the true culprit. We've come so uh, far. You can't just tell me that the last idea. hurdle is some impossible but foe. But when I burst it in here, it seems like fair. a land Indeed. does not matter that's with That's not this how thing. a grand performance should end. I'll fight it to the end, no matter what. You're in a bot. We're boxing so a whale. Okay. Will be We're fulfilled boxing no whales. Matter what, Let's go. Huh? This is wow. The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, could things be happening in hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall? Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tevat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. I get it. Okay, I get it now. I think we really are. The only other option is probably beating this whale up. Okay. What is her real secret? Alright, we- Well, we gotta talk to her if she's not busy car- Oh, well, wait! Why is- Or she's work turning on? What's happening with the Oratrice? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. Uh, well, Farina's not even Farina! moving. She's just sitting there. Farina, please. No, I still need answers. <laughs> what the hell? This is giving me Inazuma flashbacks. What the hell? Oh, so we meet the real god. <laughs>